everybody. Carl Johnson, Mastermind Traders. It is March 27th. It's Easter Day, but I wanted to put a video up before the week starts trading. And I want to point out a little something. Uh, just take a look at after this big old W bottom here, how the market started to rise after it broke the neckline. Now, it started actually back here, and then it rose, but it did break the neckline, and it kept going. Now, this is a little bit of a repeat for the trade alert students, and the reason I'm putting this video together is because of some of the emails that I have been receiving in regards to trade alerts. A lot of people don't understand them. They want a little bit of an explanation, and uh, what's the difference between the trade alerts and the candidates that I've been sending to the trade alert subscribers. Well, before I get into that, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a look at the market. First of all, what I'm going to do is enlarge the screen a little bit or make it easier to see. So there is our rise right here after the uh, double bottom. But I want to point something out. And you will notice this in a lot of stocks. When a market goes up, that it doesn't always go just straight up. It rises, it pulls back. It rises, it pulls back. It rises, it pulls back, it rises. And basically, this trend, this upward trend, really is made up of higher highs. Say so high one, high two, high two is higher than high one. I3 is higher than 1 and 2, and then 4. And the lows are also higher. Low 1, low 2, low 3. So a trend, and bullish trend, is higher highs and higher lows. Well, take a look. The market went up, got right around to the neckline, pulled back. Traded up just a little bit, pulled back. Traded up 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 a little bit, pulled back. Well, what's it going to do now? Well, according to its history, the higher highs, see how the highs are getting higher each time? And the lows are getting higher. Now, this low is a little unusual. That's a, actually a lower low. But the rest of the lows are higher. Okay? So that's what an upward trend in is, is higher highs, higher lows. Now eventually this trend has to break. When will it break? Don't know. But also notice something that for just about every time that there was a higher low, that there was also a bullish wick. Look at the bullish wick. So it took off. That's what initiated the move. And then one of the pullbacks, a bullish wick, a bullish wick, a bullish wick. And that's what we have right now. Now here is last Thursday, the day before Good Friday. So if it follows the pattern, we're, we are looking at the S&P 500, if it follows the pattern, then it should go up. And let's see what it does at the next resistance level, which is right around this area here. So will it break down tomorrow? I don't really know. I'm just trying to point out a pattern. But it does have room to move before it reaches a resistance level. Now let's just take a look. Let's, let's crunch this down a little bit. Now you can see the resistance levels. So can it, keep, can it make another move and pull back once it hits one of these resistance levels of 2076 or maybe even the long-term trend line? So I don't know when it's going to pull back again, but it certainly has some resistance levels that it hasn't hit yet. And again, the pattern is being formed that uh, if it does follow that pattern, it should go up. But it does also have to break the trend sometime. So just to keep that in mind. All right, so I've been receiving emails at 
trying to uh, get a better explanation. People are asking for a better explanation about trade alerts. Well, basically what trade alerts are, are trades that we here at Mastermind Traders are actually placing in our real account. Once we place that trade, we send out a text alert to the subscriber. So they're going to get a text alert right through the phone within seconds of me actually placing the trade. And that text alert is explaining what I bought, what I sold. These text alerts are spreads. Now you might be a new student and not quite understand what spreads are, but you will be learning very soon. Nonetheless, they are trades that we track down, that we spend a lot of time, just about every day. And when we find our, the right one that looks good, that will work out, why then we send it out to you. Now you get a text alert on your phone, you also get an email. But once you've gotten that text alert, then what you can really do is go right to the website. So you go to the website, because you, you got a text alert, you know that the text has been posted. So you go to the website, and you go to the intraday tab, and you follow it down, not intraday, excuse me, trade alert tab. Go to the trade alerts tab, and you come down here and see trade alerts. So you left click on that, and the trade alert is going to pop up the trade alert that we just placed. And on that, uh, on this page, you're going to get a video. So you can watch the video of the total explanation. And what the explanation is, I, I want you to notice something here, that there is a, a download here. So you click on that where it says Tesla, and what's going to happen is you're going to get a document that's going to pop up. And what that document is, is right here. So the document we are going to go through on the video that we just placed a bull put spread on Tesla. We sold to open the 200 put. We bought to open the 190 put. We received 37 cents. There's a certain margin requirement that you have to have, but for every one contract you will receive $37. We calculate the rate of return as well as we walk you through where we set our alerts if we want to be alarmed if this trade starts to go against us, where we set our stop, and the video is walking you through how we set that. So you just get a complete walkthrough of the trade. Give you a little bit of an explanation. So the whole document's right there, and you watch the video. Now, this week, or this month actually, as a matter of fact, a couple of days ago, we set Tesla, Western Digital, Netflix, Facebook, and you can see that there's a download for every single one of them. That's the document, Goldman Sachs. Okay, and then once you subscribe, there's a, another educational video way at the bottom that explains how do we manage these trades if they go against us. Because if a spread goes against us, if you know how, we can trade, we can uh, s turn them over into a very nice win. All right, so uh, how do you subscribe to those? So, well, you go over to the programs. I'm all the way down to MMT Trade Alerts and simply click on that. And let's wait for this to pop up. There we go. You don't you know who that silly looking guy is. But you just come down to the bottom and there you go. Step by step trading. Uh, just go ahead and enroll. Sign up right there at the bottom. Okay, now what is the difference between that and the candidates that we send to the trade alert subscribers? So, for instance, but before I, you know what, before I get to the candidates, let me just show you what we sent out uh, for some of the trade alerts last week. And I want to show you the setups because the videos actually go over every single one of those. 
So here's Tesla. You can see the setup, and I walk everybody through and the charting process and why I set it up the way we did. Here's Western Digital. The red color is what I sold, and the green color is what I buy. You can see we've got a trend up here, and we've got a nice bullish wick pushing up off the uh, support levels. Uh, Netflix, we actually did a bear call spread. We placed this on top, and I explained uh, why I've got everything marked off the way I do. And uh, that's just a few of them. Uh, matter of fact, we did one on Goldman Sachs. You can see Goldman Sachs coming up off support. And we actually even placed one on Facebook as well. So now these some of these lines might seem a little confusing to you right now. But in the videos, it explains what every line is for, where our entry points are, and why we did what we did. So that is the trade alert. Now what we've been doing for the trade alert subscribers is pretty much during the weekend, I go through and I scan a lot of trades and I go through some uh, candidates that are good trading candidates. And I'll just pop one up say, uh, slumber, this is a slumber shape. And we just uh, walk everybody through what we found where we would take an entry right here is where we would take an entry where would I set my stop so I find the trades and then I post them in a video on the Facebook trade alert page so uh, boy I've been sending out anywhere from five to ten every time I do a video and I do a video a minimum of one time per week a minimum of that maybe a couple of times a week, but uh, I promise that I try to get out somewhere between 10 and 20 a month. And let's just go over another one too. Matter of fact, uh, we even did one here for Apple. And so you can see where all the markings are. Uh, so I set these up, why I get in, why I set them up the way I do, and one more. And here's another one for a put. And look at here, isn't this a good example of the stock going up, pullback, stock goes up, a little bit of a pullback, stock goes up, a little bit of a pullback, stock goes up, we throw a tweezers top, and what is that? That is a star harami. We got a doji inside of a bullish body. That is a reversal pattern. So there we go. You can see the support level and that that uh, body right there broke that support level. Well, we had a reversal pattern right here. All right, so anyway, this is all what's included within the trade alerts. You actually get the trades that we place. We do a minimum of three, well, I should say an average of three a month. Right now, we've got about eight out for the month of March. But we we try to get out a, uh, at least three a month, but we promise uh, an average of three a month. Now let me just show you our results here and how we've been uh, how we've been working this. Uh, here we go. So so far, so far, uh, these are still all open right here. These are open. They're not closed. We'll close them sometime this week. Maybe even tomorrow on the 28th. But at this point so far for the year 2016, we are up 61.3%. Last year we finished out the year at 485%. So we're here in the middle of March and uh, again, these are not even closed out yet. The what's in red is what we have lost. Every other trade has been a winning trade. So we lost a little bit on Netflix here back in February. But uh, nonetheless, we, we keep track of every trade that we place. So I hope this answers uh, the questions for the people that have been sending in uh, emails, trying to get an explanation of what's going on with the trailers and exactly what are they. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time around.